He was a small town guy who went to serve his country during World War II aboard a submarine. Roger Riley has the story of Bill Schott, a submarine photographer, and the photos of the life left behind below the surface. Bill Schott. Yeah, he's been gone quite a long time, but his daughter found a cache of, of his uh, photos. He was the official photographer on the submarine Guamina. And uh, here she found all these negatives that had never been developed. She developed them, and there were letters, there were records, all kinds of things, and she gave them to us. At the Slater Historical Museum, they thought this collection of Bill Shouts was worth sharing, so they put together this display. He has a personal story that we relate because he came down with appendicitis and they had to take him off his uh, ship, and that ship was later sunk. It's believed it was Shouts' official job to photograph what happened on the Guavina, the dogs on the ship, or tight quarters everywhere, some 60 crew members. And mainly they couldn't be too aggressive because you were cheek to jowl with your buddies here. You had to be pretty easy going. And when they listed all the qualifications, claustrophobia was at the bottom, which would be at the top for most of us. By a string from one side of the, the 27 feet from one side to the other. And as they dove, the string sagged because the pressure on the walls was so great.